keep it very simple. And I want to show up to 15 members at a time. And at this point, I'm not going to use any validation or to, he, he did want to make sure people can be verified. So we won't add that yet. Okay. So what this does is this line of code tells you uh, this member variable is going to be, become the uh, pod for member. Uh, you can provide a table ID, like if, if you have a specific member, like I know I was the first one, so that was number one. Or you can, you can get the table IDs from tables. So don't have to worry about um, those just having to make them up. Uh, and then you have the uh, member find record. Uh, so this uh, line right here just says to find all the records in a member, sort it by name, and then uh, limit it by 15. So um, I think I broke Chrome. I'm on the development version of Chrome, by the way, so it's not pause. <laughs> it's Chrome. But essentially what we're doing here is um, the first variable find records is uh, the sort column. So that would be order by. So anything you put in there is going to be ordered. Anything you put in the second column is how many, how many uh, records to limit it by. Um, you're not going to put that comma whatever else there because that's going to happen automatically. Um, so you put if you had 25 or 30 people you list here, you can put 100,000 and it'll just adjust. Um, so what happens when you list something on there and you have uh, 20 users, but you limit it to 15, it has automatic pagination, and I'll show you that real fast on the uh, pods website. We built the form completely off, off of pods, and uh, using Gravatars as well. But here we have a bunch of topics, and we have pagination here at the bottom. You can include this pagination code anywhere you want, and uh, you can customize it if you want as well. Um, by including your own code. We have a lot of these things split up into PHP files uh, within the core folder of pods, and uh, you can use that code to build your custom stuff as basically using it as a starter point, and then use your own. So when you click page 11, it goes to page 11, shows you everything here. All right, back to the other. benefits of having a long password. All right, so um, we're going to go start that page again because I, I have to mix it down. All right, so we have um, number equals new pod, and this is just initiating the class for you technical people. And we have a lot of this information on the website uh, underneath the user. So you can definitely look this up later on. And now I'm going to echo the All right, so now I'm going to echo the member listing template. We don't have that template created yet, but I'm going to assume that's what I'm going to name it. So I'll go ahead and save this so I don't uh, type it wrong when I enter it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this page. Now it's successful, so if you guys see it, uh, you'll see it. But it won't be a template yet because I haven't created it. So there are a number of different things here. Uh, we have pods, which you're already familiar with. You can add your own data types. You have templates, which is a really easy way to reuse a bunch of chunk of code um, within your pod pages. So, so you have a listing that's always going to be the same. Just use that little code. Uh, maybe a detail page that needs to be a certain way. It's just an easy way to separate things out so you can manage it more easily and not have to go into a bunch of lines of code to remember where you put it. So it's um, great for that. So for this one, I'm going to add um, member listing. And then uh, pod pages, you're pretty much familiar with that. I just added one. Um, the thing you might be confused about is there's no slashes here on the outside or the, um, basically the beginning of it. And what that is, 
is basically um, this makes it so that it's not off of your main directory, your site. So if dfwwordpress.org's WordPress installation was in, um, for instance, some people have it actually in WordPress, uh, that will just make sure it doesn't overwrite anything there. It doesn't try to take you back to the root of the site. So uh, you don't need a trailing slash because that just it's not necessary. You can add it. I'm pretty sure it still works because um, we just made this uh, aesthetic change recently. All right. So um, then you have helpers. And we talked briefly about that, but uh, as you can see here, there's a little more information on the website. We have a whole lot more information and roles. Um, this is great because I can now say um, only editors and authors can edit members and add them uh, from this interface. If I put a public form on the front of the website, it will let other users add stuff. It's not separate from this role management here. Uh, you can use the um, role management through uh, pods if you use a different function just to check to see if they have access to that specific um, role. So this is separate from WordPress roles. It's, it's really custom built into pods right now, but we're eventually going to branch out once uh, WordPress uh, gets a little more uh, refined in the uh, role management for users. And then we have settings such as if you want to reset, you know, break something real bad and you just want to start from the beginning, you can do that. So templates, let's do this. We love H1s in uh, the world of SEO, so. Um, Always use H1s for your titles. Don't use H2s. Don't put an H1 in your header. Just put it in your content. Um, all right, so what we have here is uh, just a member listing, so we're going to put the name. And what I've done here, something very specific to pods is uh, magic tags. It lets you use this little beginning here, the um, brackets and at sign before your column name, and then you enter your column name. It's exactly as it is. So. <coughs> For this one, I'm going to use name for the header because we want to list the most important part of that um, identifying page. Uh, well, actually, this is listing, so I should uh, probably use something more generic. I'm not going to get into semantics of HTML yet, so I'll just do that. And then we have, um, let's use the Twitter ID. And just because I put this at sign here before that, don't get confused. It's only uh, taken out of that bracket sign. So that's just the way we have built the magic tags to be a little bit more smart. So I'm just going to list the names here. Uh, I'm going to use page two just so it's more, you can see it easier. Now I haven't taken a look at the P2 theme uh, for WordPress here and how much it supports um, pods out of the box. But you can create your own page templates and customize everything from there. Um, and this is a very simple page here. Um, Tony doesn't have a Twitter account, so um, I, I didn't put it in there, of course. Of course Tony has a Twitter account. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm not going to get to that part. All right, so uh, we just have a really simple listing here. If I want to link these, I can easily by saying um, link the names to, and I'm just going to use absolute values here just because it's so easy. I'm going to use the ID here. And this is something you don't see in the col column list. It's predefined and it's inside your pod, uh, whether you know it or not. It's, it's in the table uh, for your pod inside the uh, 
the ID call. 